Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips. I'm Olivia, and today I'm joined by Ashley, who's an expert in this week's topic. Today we're going to talk about something that's gotten a few companies into a little bit of hot water. It's an issue that no one had to deal with 10 years ago, but is fast becoming an essential part of any small business. We're talking social media and what to do if you found yourself in a sticky situation online. Have you ever gotten a mean comment or negative feedback? Here's what to do to make sure you and your business stay cool, calm, and collected on social media. Our first tip, slow down. You're proud of your business and you try your best to keep your customers happy. So when you see someone say something less than kind about your product or service, your first instinct may be to fire back. Instead, take a minute. You don't want to respond with emotion and make the problem even worse. Once you've taken a few minutes to calm down, take some time to assess the situation and determine how you should respond. Does the tweet or comment have any inaccurate information? Is it a customer frustrated over something like slow shipping? Or does the post seem to be negative just for the sake of it? I know there are a lot of trolls out there. If that's the case, your best bet may be to say nothing. You definitely don't want to start an argument with a customer via social media. On the other hand, you don't want to ignore your customer if they're experiencing a real issue. Tip number two, respond in a timely and professional manner. Your customers want to know that real people are seeing and addressing their complaints, so make sure you respond in a genuine and personal way. By addressing the person by name and being empathetic, once the issue has been resolved, be sure to follow up. And our last tip, be proactive when necessary. If you have multiple people posting their thoughts on the same situation, you may find it's best to address the issue in a general post to all your followers in addition to responding directly to each complaint. For example, if your website is down and multiple people are airing their complaints on Twitter, don't panic. Instead, acknowledge the issue and be transparent about the status of your problem. If you know your website will be back up in a few hours, say so. But only be specific if you can back it up. Don't be so eager to please that you give false hope to your customers. Promising things you can't deliver can only backfire. The bottom line is, think before you type. The goal is to keep your audience happy, so respond in a way that does just that. And that wraps up today's episode of Quick Tips. To make sure you never miss an episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more digital marketing tips and success stories. And if you have any questions, drop us a comment, and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on AWeber Quick Tips.